All right. So shapes to build. To, we build shapes by joining segments, lays and rays, and lines. That's how we put it all together. So for instance, here you can see ray BC is joined with ray BA, and that creates angle, or this particular angle here. I don't want to use its name yet. We'll do that in a minute. Okay. So you can see the angle. It runs from A to B. We call B the vertex or the turning point of the angle. Vertex is the typical term to C. Or I could go from C to B to A. Either way, it's still the same angle. There are three primary ways to name this angle. The first one is angle ABC. I go from the A down to the vertex at B over to C. Or angle CBA. I start at C, I go to B, and then up to A. As you can tell, either way, it's the same exact angle we're talking about. And then there's angle B. Now, I can't always call an angle by a single letter name because sometimes at a point like B, there's more than one angle. But in this case, seeing how there's only one angle, yes, I can call it angle B. So those are your three primary ways. And then there's another way. If I draw the diagram so that I put an angle number inside here, I could also refer to this as angle one. So those are the ways to label or name an angle, and they're built, an angle is built by combining two rays. Now, there are several types of angles, and they're all based on the measurement of the angle. Those measurements are based on a thing we call a protractor. I'm sure you saw a protractor when you were young and in public school, or private school, whichever you were in. Now, an acute angle is an angle between nine, zero and 90 degrees. I like to joke and call it an Italian angle because it's a cute little angle. It's between zero and 90 degrees. So if you look at the protractor here, zero degrees starts down here and anything that goes up and up and up and up, see here, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up to 90. So anything that starts over here and ends up in here, that's all acute. If I go to exactly 90 degrees, that's a Lindquist angle, <laughs> a right angle, because Lindquist is always right. Actually, Lindquist is frequently wrong, but I like to joke and call it a right angle. Now, an obtuse angle is whenever I go past 90 to 180. So an, acute, an, an obtuse angle is between 90 and 180 degrees. And I joke and call that a German angle because they have a very guttural language and obtuse is a very guttural word. So we have the acute angle, which is the Italian angle, the right angle, which is the Lindquist angle, and of course, the German angle, which is the obtuse angle. Okay, so acute, zero to 90, right is 90, and obtuse is 90 to 180. Now, a straight angle is a perfectly straight line, and that is 180 degrees. It's a half a circle. Very important measurement right there. 90 is very important, so is 180. And then a reflex angle is kind of when you do the backwards way around and you end up coming up with an angle past 180 so it's greater than 180 degrees so those are your five angle types and the primary ones here are acute right and obtuse straight you come across every once in a while reflex you rarely come across but it's nice to know that we gave it its name okay so name each angle in three ways and classify the angle by its measure go ahead This is stop and start time. I'll give you the answers in just a minute or two, a second or two of my time. Your time, as long as it takes you to answer the questions. Okay, so this first one, that could be angle ABC, angle CBA, or angle B. And it is most definitely an acute angle. Number two, I could go angle D to E to F, angle D, E, F, or angle F, E, D or angle E, and it is most definitely a right angle. That's what that little box in the corner means there. That means it's a right angle or a 90 degree angle. Whenever you see that box, it means the lines are perpendicular and perpendicular lines form right angles. Number three, angle GHI, left to right, top down, angle IHG, right to left, bottom up, or angle H, and it is an obtuse angle, okay? Now we have nine angles to look at and to classify each angle by type stop and start go ahead
Okay, so this first angle, well, that makes a straight line. So we're going to call that O. This angle right here in the upper left-hand corner, this is a straight angle. Center top, that's a reflex angle, goes all the way around. The upper right would be an obtuse angle. Middle left, that would be another obtuse angle because it's past 90. Middle would be a, an acute angle, okay? And then on the right, middle, would be a reflex angle. Goes all the way past 180. Lower left, that's an acute angle. Lower middle, that would be an obtuse angle. It's a little bit past 90. Might be 90. Maybe it's 90. It's either, usually we would denote 90 with a right angle box. If you think that this is 90 degrees, I can understand that. If you think it's a little past it, which I look at it as, then it would be obtuse. And the last one is a reflex angle. Okay, so those are some exercises in classifying each angle type for you. Okay, we're good.